Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to our first video of year 2019. And today we are going to talk about software testing trends for 2019. All right, so let's get started. So before starting the software testing trends for 2019, let's do a quick recap of what happened in 2018. Well, if you see in 2018, you would have seen a lot of noise on the artificial intelligence side. So a lot of companies are really talking about artificial intelligence. So they are talking about artificial intelligence, which is going to be doing self-healing or self-reporting and self-maintaining the test cases. Some of the companies like Mabel, Testim.io, Functionalize and Applitool. So these companies which have really shown some of the progress in artificial intelligence department at least where it automatically recognizes the object it automatically heals the object or, and also it worked well in many different areas which probably the artificial intelligence have never did before ever in any year so far so 2018 was the artificial intelligence automation testing year where a lot of companies evolved and lastly three days before Facebook also showed a demonstration that they acquired a company called Sapaints Technology in 2017. A group of people who actually worked in the University College of London with an idea of building search-based software automation testing. So they also researched to create a tool which can automate the process of creating the test cases and also find the test case scenario. So which is really, really cool because we have never seen this kind of tool ever came up. Well, Facebook has actually found that these students are actually doing it and it's really really cool to see that this tool is going to be one of the holy grail for the facebook at least to test their android application so facebook also told that in 2017 they already deployed testing it in the android application of facebook and they also saw a lot of different bugs that they could able to find using this particular tool which is really really awesome so this sapiens now automatically design runs and reports the results of tens of thousands of test cases every day on the Facebook Android application, which is really, really amazing. So this is the latest news on the artificial intelligence side and 2018 was really, really cool, as I said before, for artificial intelligence department. And next is the streamlining the QA role to the DevOps role. So basically a lot of QAs are struggling to have the QA with DevOps because the process was kind of uh, different for DevOps as well as the QA. Now the streamlining is actually happening and the streamlining has really settled down, I guess, in 2018. So that was the next big thing which happened on 2018. And then the growth of new automation testing tools like Catalan Studio and Test Project. I would see like a lot of people started to use Catalan Studio as part of their companies. At least in New Zealand, I have seen a lot of companies started to use a Catalan Studio as their daily driver tool. And which is really, really cool because we already have discussed a lot about Catalan Studio and Udemy as well as in YouTube. And I could also see that the amount of investment the Catalan Studio team do for developing a community driven test is really, really awesome. And similarly, it goes for test project as well. If you remember in our last video, we discussed about test project CEO and we also discussed with them like what are the things which is going to be come up. So you can also see that artificial intelligence is going to be incorporated in test project as well. So these tools are really, really doing great in their fields itself. And then advancement in mobile automation testing tools like C sharp uh, language support in Appium and also Xamarin.UI test support for C sharp iOS, Android, which is really, really cool with one single language. And also the evolution of support for progressive web application is also developed in 2018. So a lot of things happened in 2018 on the mobile department as well. Finally, a minor change, which is the Selenium's breaking change in C Sharp language, because they brought so many changes like removal of the page factory, remote web driver change, and desired capabilities, breaking changes. So all these changes brought C Sharp people a little bit changes at least in terms of their coding side but it's really healthy to see that c sharp with selenium is supported a lot to par with the java language which is really awesome as well so these are the evolutionary changes happened in 2018 which is really really awesome as well and these are the things which is going to happen on 2019 so let's see what are the things that we're going to be seeing in 2019 
The first thing is going to be AI again. So AI is going to improve a lot, which is going to happen for sure. And then voice based interaction testing. So we have been looking at the Alexa, Google Home and all these devices. So testing these devices is pretty important. That's going to happen for this year as well. And then new APIs to support this open source automation testing tool using AI. So AI is going to be again introduced within this AppBIM or Selenium kind of open source testing tool, which is going to liberate the power of the open source automation testing tool even further. So let's quickly expand this visions of 2019 even further detailed. So AI will improve a lot. So this department is kind of very, very important because we have seen that in 2018, a lot of different companies started to evolve and a lot of different companies started to see that artificial intelligence is kind of cash cow for them so that investing in AI is not going to be a failure. So they also saw that investing in artificial intelligence can really bring in a lot of different kinds of benefits to the customers. So that's why a lot of companies and customers started to sign up with artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence is going to do self-healing, self-maintaining, self-reporting and self-debugging of the code as well. And these things are going to be really, really exciting for the companies which are going to be developing the artificial intelligence. And since AI is automatically monitoring the pages or the DOMs of the application every day, it knows that these are the changes going to happen within the application automatically. So there is some patterns it's been created by the artificial intelligence and it automatically self heals test cases even before an automation test engineer can really recognize us that these are the changes which has happened. So all the changes are anyways going to be reported in the reporting side. So, but these are the great things which is really going to bring in within the artificial intelligence department. And then voice based interaction. So Alexa, Google Home, I guess these are nowadays becoming like an appliances within our home, right? I could see a lot of people within their homes, at least in India, I have seen everybody buy Amazon Alexa. It's like one of their appliances nowadays and they are starting to use Alexa because gone are those days while people were using their hand to control the devices and now everybody has remote controls and now the remote controls are kind of replaced with the voice based interactions, which is really, really cool. So you just call Alexa to do these things, it's been done. And Alexa's appliances are kind of very, very expanding. It's automatically expanding. It seems like a lot of IoT devices are integrating within Alexa's, like the ankle switches and then remote controls and then TVs, fridges, washing machines. All those devices, like smart devices, are automatically connecting with Alexa's to talk with them so that it can be controlled. So now the testing of these kinds of devices and the companies which are really using this voice based interaction with Alexa is kind of improving. I'm not just talking about Alexa here, but all these voice based control devices like Google Home or Alexa or Cortana in this case. So everybody is using the voice based interaction. And for sure in 2019, there seems to be a lot of focus on testing these voice based interaction is available. And finally, new APIs for the open source softwares. So if there is one API which is going to be introduced by any of these companies like testproject.io or testteam.io or Mabel or test.ai, if any of these companies introduce one single library which is going to be incorporated within our own Selenium or Appium code, that's it. If we could introduce these kinds of API for automatically recognizing the object within our code, then all our automation tests that we used to do for recognizing the objects and maintaining the object changes in the UI is going to be self-healed using this API. I'm not just talking about a theory here, but I'm actually talking about the real-time example shown by the test.ai CEO Jason Airborne in, I guess, four or five months before Jason Airborne shown an article that they have introduced their own API which can be incorporated in Appium where the artificial intelligence will automatically maintain the code or self-heal the objects of the applications within your code and it automatically maintains those changes within your code which is really really awesome. So this kind of APIs are going to be evolved even further. Jason Airborne is one of the pioneer in the artificial intelligence department so he has shared a lot of articles in LinkedIn if you would have seen him. He is the CEO of test.ai and he has introduced so many great articles on artificial intelligence. So you can follow him on 2019 for sure and you can see that artificial intelligence is going to be a real emphasize with his own works.
So these are the changes which is going to be coming in 2019 for the testing, at least in the automation testing side. So now you can ask me that what is the programming language of choice for 2019, at least for the automation testing department? Well, I would say that all these companies like testproject.io or testim or test.ai like Mabel, all these companies actually has their own inbuilt editor within the browser based tool that they have. So all these browser based tools basically work by help of JavaScript. At least they have their own inbuilt JavaScript editor. So JavaScript is the main language I have seen so far with any of these projects I have worked. So JavaScript is incorporated in there. So you can use JavaScript to write all those test cases within this product. That's one thing on the JavaScript side for the artificial intelligence department. If you take Alexa skill development or Alexa testing, everything is Node.js and Node.js, the Ask SDK or Amazon skill development kit is something which is even developed in Node.js. So basically, again, you still fall in Node.js side and to test these skills, you still require JavaScript language. So I guess JavaScript is the language of choice for 2019 for the automation testing people. And we have seen JavaScript is kind of really, really easy because if you use TypeScript, like a super set of JavaScript, it is like object oriented. Even JavaScript latest ECMAScript have shown the object oriented programming concept within JavaScript. So JavaScript is going to be one of the easiest option if you go with either TypeScript or within the JavaScript latest ECMAScript so that you can start learning it very, very easily if you have good background on C Sharp or Java. So basically it seems that JavaScript is the language of 2019 for automation test engineer or maybe a go-to language for automation test engineer who really want to test in all these areas like artificial intelligence or Alexa or voice based testing or whatever of that kind. And next comes, I guess, C Sharp and Java. They are pretty much in the par. I guess they are close neck to neck. They are being used a lot with the current tools that we are using. but. I don't think that's going to be for a long time. I guess it's changing pretty fast and people will surely go for JavaScript in 2019. So that's it guys. So these are the things that we have for 2019. So these things are going to be something that we will be seeing in 2019 for the whole year. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.